Hello everyone, Davey Xero here, and um, I wanted to give you a quick guide to the new feature that I added to Atmos Maps, meaning the um, config files, which are used to edit spawn rates and item ideas so you don't get conflicts. So, first of all, you install the mod. I will put an annotation here in which you can click to go to the video which tells you how to install the mod. Then, uh, you Test the game like I will do now. So, you uh, just test the game, you see if it works. It works for me, so it's great. Then I will go to my .minecraft folder, which is this. This is my .minecraft folder. You will see a lot of maps in me, but you will have <laughs> much less because I have a lot of backups and stuff or other mods oh my god lots of stuff anyway which folder you want to see is the config folder you double click and as you see you see all the configuration files of my mobs that I added to the Atmos mobs um, mod so you every mob has its own um, config file like the bat here and uh, the blowfish the butterfly and all that stuff so uh, a good example is to uh, show you the item ideas is the blowfish. Okay, so you open this with notepad, which is automatically for me. So here we have a blowfish. And as you see, there are three variables here. We have the blowfish dead idea, the blowfish idea, and the spawn rate. Well, the blowfish dead idea is obviously the item idea of the um, dead blowfish item. And the blowfish idea is the um, item idea for the living blowfish and the spawn rates obviously the spawn rate of um, the blowfish itself so what you want to do is um, change these things of course because for example you have a um, mod installed that uses item idea 905 and you get an error from mod loader saying stop blowfish dead once this id but it's already occupied by this item from the other mod. Then it will give an error and stop running. So you want to change it. So you have this, 905. And you change it to any number and test it again to see if it doesn't give fun conflicts. That's basically what you, all you have to do to solve item ID problems. Um, I've done this basically because ID Resolver isn't uh, updated yet, I heard. So... Uh, yeah, that's that actually. And uh, then we have the spawn rate, which is obviously the spawn rate of the uh, blowfish. And uh, more, the higher the number is, the more mobs will spawn. Well, the blowfish um, spawns in the water, so it doesn't have a lot of chances to spawn. Not as much chances as cows and chickens and pigs have, as on the land. Um, and they are biome specific, meaning that their spawn rate is pretty high. 300 is pretty high. They can have a max spawn, max spawn rate of <laughs> of uh, thousands, and uh, yeah, and a minimal spawn rate of zero. If you put out zero, they will not spawn. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's that. Now another example. We have the uh, the bat here. The bat. And uh, we want to test if it works if I put here zero. A lot of people have been saying that the bat is quite annoying. And uh, although I don't agree, I, I really love them. Um, I, if you want to disable them, just put zero here. Or if you want more bats, just put 100 there or something. But they will spawn like crazy in the night. Spawn rate zero. Save it. And then run the game again. You do not want to change the config while uh, playing the game. Because um, it won't take any effect. So, um, we all know the uh, code of Notch and Jab uh, making it so biomes that have been generated spawn certain mobs. I will just create a new world here. Spawn certain mobs. For example, if you have a generated world without any mods, the certain biome will only spawn cows, chickens, and uh, pigs. We have a butterfly here. Ah. Uh, will only spawn cows, chickens, and pigs, and such, and, and sheep. But when you add a mod, this won't change, so you have to go to a new biome in order to find the new mods that you have installed. Um, 
Mo Creatures has a very smart solution to that using the custom mob spawner. But I want to save you guys the, uh, the fact that you have to install that uh, too. So we want to check if bats are spawning. Normally bats spawn quite a lot. So, um, oh wait, let's go to too many items and make it... Oh, not raining, I don't want rain. Midnight. And uh, as you see, spiders are spawning, it's on normal. Fireflies, which spawn quite a lot, I've heard. So you could actually adjust that spawn rate too in the config file. I'm looking for bats. We have mice. Mice, 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 zombies. I am looking for some bats. And it's actually a good thing that there aren't any bats spawning because we put the spawn rate to zero, so it should work. We have a moth here, meaning that everything spawns as it should. Although no bats are spawning. Yes, they also spawn above ground, but they normally spawn uh, in caves too. So, uh, yes. No bats are spawning, which is great. Meaning that it works. Hooray. So you could uh, adjust any spawn rate to if you have a lot of mobs in your world, you're like, oh my god, I want to reduce the spawn rate. You just uh, uh, yeah, make it like the half the spawn rate or something. So it works. And what I was trying to say with the fact that uh, certain biomes only spawn certain mobs um, after it's generated, I wanted to tell you guys that maybe if you already generated a world and the spawn rate is 100 when you like uh, start and you change it to 50 and go to the same world, there's a. I have no idea if actually the spawn rate of that biome is changed. You know, I don't know if it saves the biome or saves the mob itself only. Uh, saves, yeah. So, uh, that's something I have not tested yet. Okay, so one last thing I want to show you guys. One last thing. Okay, so you have all these things. And uh, I want to change the bats back to 15 because I want some bats. I could actually just check if the bats are spawning again. I should. And uh, um, if you, you know, you, you have the blowfish and you're like, I don't want the blowfish in my world. Oh, what happened there? I don't want the blowfish in my world. And you put it to zero. That's cool. Of course, the blowfish won't spawn anymore. However, you will be stuck with these two items, which will take over two item IDs, which could be used by another mod. So if you want to... Oh, whatever. <laughs> if you want to... Uh, go away. If you want to disable one of these mods completely, including the items, you go to a mod loader, CFG, the config folder for a mod loader, which is under there, and you see here all the mod files that it loads. And for example, you have the blowfish here, and the currently is on. If you change this to off, save, and then um, go back and load the game, the item will be gone. I will show it. I will show it to you. The item will be gone, and the blowfish will be gone. Which means that you have two more ideas to fail without having the blowfish. This is just an example. I'm not saying that you don't want the blowfish. Many people just love the blowfish. So. Um, yeah. Okay. So no blue dead blowfish or dead uh, or normal blowfish. Only the piranha is still here. And let's see, maybe some bats will spawn, so I can... ...show you guys. That was right. Normally they spawn like... ...crazy. But as I said, it could be that it's saved in the biome. I have no idea. I see a lot of moths. Ah, there we have a bat. There we have you. Haha. -ha. So, that works. Um, I hope that convinces you that it works. If you have, uh, if you change it just a little bit, like the spawn rate, you change it just a little bit, 
there's a slight chance that um, for your feeling, the spawn rate hasn't changed. So, for example, you have a spawn rate of 150 and you change it to 100, and you see still a lot of mobs, just change it more because it doesn't mean that it doesn't work, it just means that um, it doesn't really matter a lot. <laughs> so, I hope you guys um, understand how to do this now. And I will see you guys next time. Come on, explode. Ugh. Yes. See ya.